do this. Alright guys, what's up? We're set up, we're ready to go. Um, we're going to do a quick, quick discussion on Pantheon. There has been some uh, information passed today, which is super, super exciting. Well received. Uh, I, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just, I'm like a little kid right now. I'm all uh, giggly inside and, you know, been looking forward to, um... Been looking to forward to this day for a long time, where we're able to uh, get into Pantheon and, and test it out and have fun with it. And uh, today the announcement was made that by the holidays this year, we will have Pantheon in pre-alpha. So, what does that mean? Well, the reason I wanted to have this quick little uh, stream, little get together, is because that means that. This is one of your last chances to pledge and receive the pre-alpha access that VIPs receive. Um, once the pre-alpha access is taken away from VIP, I believe the VIP pledge will still remain, which is great. Um, you can still support Pantheon and VR and, and you know promote this game by um, by providing a, or by a, Pledging as a VIP. However, you will not have the pre-alpha access as part of that uh, incentive to to pledge at that the support level. So, um, right now is really, I mean, there's no better time. So what I'm going to show you right now, if you just go on to Pantheon.com, I'm sorry, Pantheon MMO, and I'm going to do this. It should show up here. So it should show up on the stream for everybody to see. So, here's what you need to do, people. If you haven't already, and you want to, haven't received or upgraded or pledged, whatever, if you're, if you're not at a VIP level and you don't have pre-alpha access, I highly recommend going to the PantheonMMO.com website. Um, right underneath here, in the middle, in this, uh, you know, VR pink shade, you'll see pledge. Click on that and then scroll on down to that VIP pledge here. As you see, that pre alpha, pre -alpha as access will be going away sooner than later. So, again, if you have it and you're on the fence about it, you're thinking about it, you're not quite sure if you want to pull that trigger. There's literally no better time because there may not be a time here soon to do so. So, again, um, before that's update, before that's updated and uh, removed from the package, you know, please uh, don't regret it. Don't wait, and then a few months down the road, go. Oh, I wish I wish I would have, wish I would have done that. You know, it's a it's a once in a lifetime experience that I may never, may never get back. Um, I know that in the past I've done it with other games. You know, I've and like, yeah, you know, I really don't want to, to go that route. And then uh, a few years down the road when I'm playing that game, I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, man, I wish I would have. I wish I would have just to see, the ex you know, had that experience. So I did with Pantheon. And, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm hoping it's well worth it. I think it will be. So again, if you're on the fence, guys, uh, if you're looking at pre-alpha access, I recommend... Uh, Going to the pledge page and uh, you know upgrading or just uh, submitting your pledge now. Other than that, uh, what happened today? Well, man. Um, so we got to see a little bit about Pantheon. Uh, we got to watch uh, some of the stream, and I'm not going to show any of the stream. I don't even think they should, I don't even think they posted it on the uh, YouTube yet, so I'm not going to show any of that. Um, but Brad and Ben and uh, I think it was a uh, uh, the David or I always want to call him Roderick for some reason. I don't know why. I'll have to find his name. Uh, I know his in-game name. I just for some reason I want to call him Roderick, and and that's not right. Um, it's like a Ronick, 
think, is if I'm not mistaken. Uh, my mind is, is all over the place right now. But, hey, Mac, yeah. Uh, so today, during uh, the stream for the indie Twitch channel, they announced the pre-alpha. They announced that they're going to um, be in pre-alpha by the holidays of this year. So, um, I would look around... I'm not going to say whether it right now it's not determined the exact date, meaning it's not determined whether that means before Thanksgiving or before Christmas. Um, I, if I was going to throw out a, a random guess, I would throw it out between Thanksgiving and Christmas. So I would say early December um, would be probably the date they set on. Maybe maybe December one. Who knows? Um, but it was announced today that they will be in pre-alpha. Uh, Brad announced it on the stream today that they will be in uh, pre-alpha go um, for the holidays or in time for the holidays this year. So, um, as I was, uh, uh, yeah, Mac. Normally, I would say that um, it was a pretty it was a pretty bold statement. So, they've held pre-alpha close to their chest. The release date very very close to their chest for for very long time um, been very very careful not to give an exact date or even set uh, misleading expectations or you know try to and um, they're pretty confident right now with uh, getting it in this year before the holidays so again I would look for early December I mean and it, it could be earlier don't get me wrong it, it absolutely could be earlier but my best guess would be early December. Um, so if you didn't see the uh, stream, I would uh, check out VR's uh, YouTube page because actually see if I can. They might have it posted. And... <laughs> okay, not yet. Here, I'll put a put a link just in case. Someone wants to jump on that. Um, VR should be posting the uh, highlight or the clip to their YouTube page here in a little bit. I'm not going to watch the stream if I'm watching this. <laughs> no, Mac, I appreciate it. Um, but I'm actually, so what I'm going to do is I was just jumping on here to kind of make an announcement, uh, make sure that people are aware of it because one of the things that um, going away with that is the pre-alpha testing for VIP pledges. So once they've um, once they've gone into pre-alpha or once they've really locked down that date and uh, send out the information, that pre-alpha access for VIP pledges is going to be taken away, and you'll still have the ability, from my understanding, to pledge as a VIP. It's just going to only allow you to be in alpha testing. Um, so you're basically giving uh, more money for a very you know small amount of incentive to here. So you know you'll get things like um, I think the additional items are. The testing, of course, but a uh, tester. So these these three things here. So pretty much pre-alpha access is the the big one. And that's the big bump there, from um, cohorts to originators pledge. So going from a champion pledge to a uh, VIP pledge, the big and the big incentive there is to get into that pre-alpha testing. So. Don't they know testing is work? Yeah, absolutely. It is It is not going to be playing the game. It is going to be work. Um, but what I was saying earlier was it's one of those things where, you know, in the past, I have uh, I myself have played games. And after like a few years of playing the game, I look back and I go, man, I wish I would have had that experience. I wish I would have just given myself the opportunity to get in there and, and to, to, you know, be a part of that. Because uh, it's something that, once it's said and done, you can't go back and do it again. I mean, it, this is one of those things where um, there's been very, very few games that I've played over the, the years that I would even want to test. So I'm hoping that uh, Pantheon turns into what, I, what I'm looking for and what I'm hoping for. And I have, um, I fully anticipate that they're going to meet, you know, my low expectations. Because I really do have low expectations. Um... And so far, they've they've met or exceeded all my my low expectations. But with that, uh, you know, 
I don't want to look back in a few years and go, man, I wish I would have been part of that. I wish I would have had that, give myself the opportunity to uh, to test, to get in there and um, be be a part of that first initial wave that was involved in making um, this game what it you know what it is today. So I'm you know like I said, if for some people they don't want to do that, and that's absolutely perfectly fine. Uh, there's always the possibility or opportunity that you just want to you know upgrade your pledge just to give some more support. Uh, regardless, I guess for me, when I look at it like that, if you were going to upgrade your pledge, there's no better time than now because once that pre-alpha testing is taken away, you're you're literally just upgrading um, to donate more to the game and to the development of the game, and um, you're not really getting any additional incentive on top of that. So, you know, it's, it, that's kind of a selfish reason, but I just want to make people aware of that just so they have the opportunity to do that. So. Yeah, and exactly. Some people have been following since 2014. Absolutely. And there's a lot of people that are, uh, they're not VIPs, but they do have pre-alpha testing access because of uh, the Kickstarter or early access pledge, you know, um, opportunities that were around back in 2014-15. How long is pre-alpha expected to last? There's no set date on that. I'll, I'll give you my guess. I'll give you my rough estimates. So these are completely my opinion. There's no VR, no, um, th this is just my opinion. There's absolutely nothing that's, um, factual with these, but these are my guesses for testing. I would look at pre-alpha because, so here's how, from my understanding, the testing is look, looking to go. Um, you have pre-alpha access, which is going to be parts of, let me pull the map up just so you have this visual. And I'll answer that question in just a minute, Mac. So, so you have pre-alpha access, which is going to be parts of King's Reach. Not even all of King's Reach is going to be available in pre-alpha access, from my understanding. Now, alpha access, they look to have all of King Reach available. Now, this might have changed. This was kind of some conversation that I, that I read way back when. But during alpha testing, they look to have all of King's Reach available um, for alpha testing. And then for beta testing, they look to bring in rainfall. So there's a lot of different races, a different zones, different content that's that's not going to be there in, in, originally that they're going to add, you know, as they go through the testing phases. I would say, in my personal opinion, the first thing that they want to do is ensure that they have that um, solid foundation with what they have so far, which is that pre-alpha testing. So they're going to open up the doors, let us in there. Um, let us start exploring some of the areas in King's Reach and, you know, um, seeing what, seeing what we're able to uncover to, to help show some bugs and some issues. Um, but I would anticipate that pre-alpha testing, you know, is going to be a little bit more lengthy than the others. I would say, again, I want to be very clear. This is just my opinion. Nothing factual about this. I would say pre-alpha opens in early December. I would say it lasts till mid-year 2000. Uh, well, I'd say not quite mid-year, but I'd say last till at least May, maybe even June of 2018. And then I would say, we'll say June. We'll say June 1st, alpha opens up. I would say alpha opens up June 1st. Um, I would look for alpha to go from June 1st to November of 2018. And then I would look for beta to open up somewhere in the November, December of 2018 and go until April, May of 2019. I don't anticipate the release of this game being until about spring to early summer of 2019. That's just my personal opinion. Now, can they do it much faster? I have no idea. Will it take longer? I have no idea. But I would just think, based off of what they're trying to accomplish and the amount of content that they're trying to give us upon release, that... That year and a half time frame for, for testing from the front to back end um, would be appropriate. And that's just my gut feeling. It may be shorter. It may be longer. I don't know. But that's just my gut feeling. So, And just to be clear, my gut feeling on pre-alpha access, um, when announced, I think it was in December of last year when I was watching the stream, my gut feeling on pre-alpha access was going to be, uh, I, I actually said it'll be November of this year. 
and uh, I was pretty close on that, so I'm pretty happy with that prediction. But again, those are just predictions; they're just uh, thoughts. Um, anyways, so I'm catching up on chat here, guys. Uh, am I in a guild? So yes and no. Um, I can recommend some guilds out there that you know I've uh, been a part of or talked to the people, and um, there's some really good ones out there. I'm I'm part of a guild, but I'm not like I just basically have a generic guild set up for my stream and anybody who wants to join it, and it's going to be more of a, a casual, social type guild. Nothing, uh, nothing hardcore. I'm I'm not a hardcore player. I'm going to get on. I'm probably going to do a lot of crafting, um, a lot of dungeons, a lot of uh, you know questing and things like that, or or just exploring and, and things like that. But um, as far as like raids, like, you know, um, high end content and, and things that won't be at, at as of right now, that's not really going to be my focus. Um, I'm more of a uh, I just want to get in the game and enjoy type person and just run around and explore and see what all I can do and find and um, just kind of take the game slow and one step at a time. So but my guild is going to be very casual and it's really just kind of like a streaming guild. Um, for people that, you know, come to the stream and hang out, stuff like that. Um, Kilson, pre-alpha. Okay, let me read that real quick. Pre-alpha is a stepping stone to helping us catch glaring bugs and issues and helping us set up for alpha testing. Absolutely. Uh, da -da -da. It won't be a huge testing period. Very important one. Okay. Huh. Oh, nice. Okay. So yeah, I wasn't aware of that. So yeah, no, if uh if that's the what's the guild name? Uh it's what did I name it? The acronym is uh FAM, F A M. The uh Fell Age Maven hold on. I don't even know what the name of my guild is. That's how that's how on top of things I am. Um The Fell Age uh Mavens. So Right now, because of the lore, we're currently in the Fell Age of Terminus, and Maven being an expert. So, yeah, and like I said, I it's it's something I came up with one night. I like the acronym FAM, and I had to find some words that that fit into it. So, uh, <laughs> as far as the guild goes, when when I create it, when I name it in the game, the it's just going to be FAM. That's pretty much all I'm looking forward to having. But the actual underlying name of it will be Fell Age Mavens. So, um, let's see here. So I didn't know about the, uh, the thing Kilson said there. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, max of two months or, or around until he gets into alpha. Uh, me personally, I think it's going to be a little bit longer, but if they think that that's going to only take two months then awesome, that's awesome. I'm happy to hear that. Actually, I'm, I'm more excited about that than I am hearing about pre alpha. <laughs> not really. I'm joking. I'm, I'm not at all. Uh, let's see here. Which map is there? I'm not sure what you mean by that, Underboss. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, a lot of things change from January till now, even. So. Oh, the one I had displayed? So, uh, just looking on the website here, scroll down to World. This is the um, Atlas of Terminus. It's just the generic kind of um, high-level map that Pantheon has right now, showing King's Reach and uh, Rainfall, and a few other uh, you know key spots, key areas. So, I think people have done a lot of kind of investigation on which race will be um, where, based off of lore and things like that. I'm not 100% sure myself. I, I'll be honest, I haven't looked into it enough. I know Wild's End will be Halflings, so Halflings will be here. Um, I believe in Thornfest we have the uh, humans. And I believe Elves will be here. I think. So, if I'm not mistaken, I think I read that. 
I have to go back and remember and jog my memory. I didn't look too much into where the races are going to be at. And, like, you know, to me, um, I I'm more excited to figure it out in the game than anything. But uh, I'll have to go back and look. But I've got to figure out where each one of these races is going to be basically starting from. For the most part, it's really just because of... Uh, for example, if I'm starting out as a Dark Mirror, I, I'm assuming that I'm going to start over here as a Dark Mirror. If I'm starting there, I want to know where the, um, potentially where my friends are going to be at when they start. You know, if, if someone's starting in, in Thorn, uh, Thornfeast and they're a human and I'm over here as a Dark Mirror, well, due to Pantheon being a world that it's going to be hard to travel in, it could take me quite a while to find my way over to uh, even Wild's End or, or Thornfest or something like that, so we'll see. Elves are by some giant door. Yeah, I think they're in a... Uh, da, 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 da. I can tell you, actually. I think I remember where I was, where I was reading it. Uh, news. So I think this is where I, I came up with that. So after having worked on some visual concepts, uh, treatments for elven dwellings and elven feature structures like the towers of, uh, I don't know how you say this word. I, I Guys, I'm sorry. I can't. I'm not, I'm going to butcher it. I say it, so I'm just going to not say it. But I think this is where I got that idea. Anyways. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so, again, guys, I just uh, want to jump on here and kind of uh, make the announcement, make everybody aware of it. I'm more than happy to hang out and talk more about... Uh, talk more about it. But um, I I honestly don't even know what to talk about right now. I've been at work. I've been away. I've been this week has been crazy. Um, I just got back into town this morning from uh, Maine, so been on a flight all day, and uh, came in. Heard about the stream. I jumped on. I saw the stream, and I was just like, man, I got to talk about it when I get on stream tonight. Uh, so once that's posted, I'm um, hopefully. Everybody will get a chance to see that because it was pretty cool. Uh, we got to see the login screen as well. So I don't even know if I can find it because it's not posted yet. Let's see here. Hold on, guys. Oh. I, I might be able to find it real quick for you. Uh -huh. Okay, so um, again, I'll put a link here for this so everybody can go see this. There you go, guys. So if you're looking to go see it, um, it's about, uh, let's see here. I think they started, what, just after... Just about three hours into it. Um, <laughs> so just about three hours into it, they uh, start the Pantheon portion of it. And it's only about 30 minutes long. Um, I'll let you go check that out on the uh, indie, indie and Stream Workshop Twitch stream. So it's just kind of the indie studio. But um, let's see here.
He, so he gets kicked out and he's trying to log back in. We get to see a little bit about the character selection menu. Um, so, I don't know. I think uh, they talked a little bit about the characters. I don't think it worked. But um, as they were going through it and as they were talking about it, I thought it was really cool because one of the things that uh, I was seeing was all the little teaching snakes to kick. All the little... Uh, phrases at the bottom. I don't know if anybody was catching all that, but uh, it's definitely, that's some good ones in there. So as you're watching it, pay attention to that. But yeah, it was a really, really cool stream. Uh, they showed some really cool uh, graphics, um, some things we haven't seen before, like the login screen, things like that. Um, and really they, they didn't, it, it wasn't uh, a kind of a scripted setup, it looked like. It was more of a, uh, just get in here and let's, let's try to play the best we can. Um, but again, it was it was pretty neat. Did a great job. So the links in the chat, guys, uh, go check that out. Like I said, it's about three hours in, and I believe uh, they should be taking it and clipping it or cutting it out so that they can um, post it on YouTube or uh, Pantheon. Looking forward to seeing that. Looking forward to seeing that screen. All right. Uh, anything else, guys? Any questions? Thanks for sharing. No problem, Mac. I uh, I'm excited about it, man. I'm excited about it. So I guess the 2017 release date originally says not happening. What's their new release date? 2017. Yeah, it'll be uh right now. I would look to uh, this. So the the actual date is not set in stone, but it is uh as they put it. It will be in time for the 2017 holidays. I would say uh, around the early December time frame. If I had to put a guess on it. So. About a month. Maybe a month and a half from now. But again. That's not an official date. It's just. We know for a fact. They're looking to have it. In pre-alpha. Before the holidays of 2017. And that could be Thanksgiving. That could be Christmas. I would assume it's probably Christmas holidays they're talking about. Um, and if that's the case, I would assume it'll probably be early December before we see it. So, But they are looking to get it in before 2018. That was a, a statement that was made. And it's very, uh, very direct about that. So I believe they're going to make their 2000 release date that they originally set. Cutting it close, but they're going to make it. Cutting it close. But, alright guys, well, um, like I said, uh, go check out the stream there if you haven't looked at it yet. And uh, I'm going to play some Warframe and just goof around for a bit. Most likely around Xmas. What about the actual release? The actual release. No, 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 no. Okay. So you're talking about when they first came out with the um, Kickstarter cake, I believe. So I believe when they first came out with the Kickstarter, they said that they wanted to be in testing. Like two thousand, like late 2015, they wanted to test, then test through 2016, and then they wanted to release in 2017. I think that's what you're referring to. Is that what you're saying? And uh, Twism, I think that for me, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just personal opinion, but I wouldn't see them releasing it like on Christmas, for say, or uh, really close to it. And they might, I don't know, but I would assume they would want to release like a week or two early in case they really have some like showstopper bugs. That way, they could fix them before they all leave and go home to spend some time with their families um, while they let the testers kind of mess some things up, you know, things like that. I uh, can't say I paid much attention to the details. No, you're good. So um, I can I can kind of give us a little history on that cake. So you had a uh, in 2014 you had the Kickstarter come out, and then what they were mentioning during the Kickstarter was that they wanted to be in pre-alpha testing by the end of 2015. They wanted to test through 2016, and they wanted to release in 2017. That was during the Kickstarter. Well, in 2015, a little ways, a little more than midway through the year, they actually 
scrapped almost all of it and started over from scratch. Um, they, I think they updated the Unity engine, uh, went to a better one that's going to allow them to do uh, some future enhancements they weren't going to be able to with the old Unity engine. And they took all of what they had pretty much and just started over from fresh. Um, some of the ideas, some of the thoughts from the Kickstarter, which again, the Kickstarter failed. So um, some of those original ideas and thoughts and, and how they were presenting them uh, didn't really go over as well as they wanted. So they then took that information, um, molded over, really thought about it, and then decided, hey, since we're going to upgrade the Unity engine, and we're going to have to basically rebuild a lot of what we've already built. Let's just let's just start fresh. Let's just get everything the way that we want it done um, from the get go, and uh, let's try to make this game what everybody wants it to be, um, including themselves. So, yeah, they they kind of took a step back in 2015, started over, and then from 2015, about midway through 2015, they've been working on it, and now we're what uh, two and a half years in to that. And they're coming with pre-alpha now, and I would say it, it'll be about once pre-alpha hits, um, you're looking at least a year of testing, and then, you know, unsure when that release date's going to be for uh, the actual release. However, you know, again, I, I wouldn't see it until 2019. If it if it's earlier, I'll be the happiest guy alive. I I don't expect it myself though. So. But um, I am all for answering and continuing to answer questions. Um, man, I wish my other answers would have got in here for the spotlight. Um, I'm gonna jump on some Warframe and goof around for a bit. So, yeah, no problem, Cake. I uh, <laughs> I had to go look at the history myself. 